meet baby goats. Silly baby, you're not supposed to climb in the hay. Silly boy. It says, but my mama's in the hay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to nibble on it too, see what it tastes like. Just don't make Kitty upset, okay? She's okay with you. Then you be nice. Sweet boys, sweet baby goats, sweet mama goat. Did you get the babies out? Uh-huh. The boy, baby is... He's up there. Where's that patience? Yeah. Oh, it's so hard to tell them apart if they're not side by side. The door is over there. This is the girl, you think? Yeah. Hi, baby. That's the boy. I think you're right. Patient! Oh, patience. Luna's not your mama. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, confused sweet baby. Gosh. Oh, my gosh. No. Sweet baby, there's your mama. Come on. Mama's down there. Mama's down there. That's right. There you go. That's... That's your mama. That's your mama. Mama, speak so she hears you. You hear her? There you go. They definitely know each other by voice. Oh, Truly is gonna check out her new sister and brother. What do you think, Truly? They're cute, huh? Oh my goodness, Patience, you have so much spunk. They're jumping, yes. So cute. Can I try carrying them? No, I want them out here so that they can stretch their legs and move around and jump and hop and skip. So, it's better if you don't. Yeah, like that. Yep, just like that. Their eyes almost look bluish gray. Like, not blue blue, but like grayish. Which is really interesting, because there's no blue eye genetics in Alpines or in Nubians that I'm aware of. I'm pretty sure that that's a gene that's only found in the mini breeds. But it does kind of light colored eyes. I, it was hard to tell in the stall if I was seeing it correctly, but out here in the sun it looks just about the same. Hi babies. Hi babies, what do you think of outside world? You're just happy to be with mom. So on day three after birth, if everything is going well, the babies are bonding well, mama's feeling good, the babies have plenty of nutrition in their bellies, we let them out into the paddock with the rest of the goats. Mama's keeping them down here all to herself for the most part. Little patience took off with the rest of the herd thinking Luna was her mom for a minute. And they're really happy to be out here running around. Pretty soon I'll see them up there at the hay station with the other goats, with their mom. Just relaxing, I'm sure. But I gotta go ahead and turn this fence on because one of the bad things is, is 
if I'm out here with the boys playing with the goats, we have the fence off. And so if the baby goat touches the fence and doesn't get a shock, then the baby goat's gonna push against the fence and think that it's safe to do so and it could crawl right out of one of the big holes. So we try to always have the fence on when baby goats are being introduced to the paddock. So we're gonna get ourselves out of here so we can turn the fence on to make sure that they learn that shock at a young age. It sounds mean, but it's for their own safety. If they know that that fence is gonna shock them, they're not gonna do this where they're going up close to it, sniffing on it. So we are going to turn the fence on so they stay away from it. We, last thing we need is a baby goat tangled up in a fence that's on. So if they learn from a young age that it's hot, they will stay away from it and not get tangled in it because they won't be adventurous thinking that it's safe. So come on boys, we're gonna go ahead and let these goats bond with their herd. We gotta turn that fence on. So I have to get you guys out too. Woo! Yeah. Sneezy, sneezy, pajama boy. Yeah. Pollen count is super high right now here in Georgia. And over here, I've got a swarm trap. Just a little experiment. Got some lemongrass in there and five frames. It's a nuke box. So it's a little test just to see if we can capture a wild swarm. The asparagus is coming up. Just look how big this one is. I am just a, about a second away from pinching that baby off and eating it. I absolutely love snacking on fresh asparagus in the garden. I never ever ate raw asparagus before growing it myself. And when you grow it in your own garden and you eat it fresh from the ground, it's like, the sweetest, yummiest. It's almost like a green bean. Oh, it's so good, so good. So if you haven't tried fresh asparagus right out of your garden and you're growing asparagus, you need to try that. Do yourself a favor. I feel like I might be watching these strawberry plants closer than the boys. <laughs> we just got in another shipment of strawberries to plant and you can see the ones from the fall are already blooming. We know we have lots of bees out here um, so they're bound to get pollinated and be producing fruit in no time with the addition of more strawberries. We're just going to thoroughly enjoy some fruit this year. Look at this bad boy. He's got a bunch of blooms. Or she. Oh, look at that one. So pretty. It's got a weed in the way. Let's show you how pretty it is. I tried to go through here and pull some weeds around the plants just to give them a little bit more of a nutritional fight and uh, allow the pollinators to find the plant. There we go. That's pretty. So Kitty is not as confident about joining the herd as her babies are, but they seem to be getting some good fresh air. It's supposed to be beautiful out today. I think it's supposed to be a high of 80. It was only a low of 60 last night. I'm like so tempted to start planting stuff that I shouldn't. <laughs> so I'm going to wait and wait and wait to make sure that we're not gonna have any more cold fronts before I plant stuff. But it is so tempting. With weather this nice, it's very tempting to start planting my summer garden, but I know better. I have seen it frost as late as the beginning of April here. So we're going to hold off and keep taking care of these seedlings as best we can. And pretty soon we'll be planting out here. And it's gonna be so enjoyable. Rainbow Garden for Health started this year to make sure that... Oh, thought I heard something. A hawk. Must be bothering that crow. Our crows are some of our farm helpers. Keep the hawks away. Right now we don't have any free range ducks because of hawks, so you can see by the size of that hawk. It is a big one. Yes, Autumn hears me out here, so she's crying to me. Oh, where'd they go? 
boys just left me. They said, Mama, we want to go back to the house. Fine, fine. Just abandon me to do the rest by myself. I was hoping to convince them to plant their strawberries today, but they seem to want to go back in. So maybe later this afternoon after lunch, I can convince them to come out and plant some strawberries with me. If not, maybe mommy can come out and plant strawberries by herself. Thank you guys for watching. Please check out our Amazon wish list. If you're making any purchases on Amazon, please use our Amazon affiliate link. If you have any purchases needed for garden, goats, poultry, or kitchen, you can find that on our Amazon storefront. We appreciate it. Thank you for watching Wholesome Roots.